I'm Luis, and hello from Bingebox, a show that solves all your problems on what to binge, from TV shows to podcasts, movies, and books. So subscribe to this show for next time you have that question because I'm watching it all, so you don't have to. And today we are talking about a couple of limited series that I think are worthy of your time. My first one is starring Amy fucking Adams in Sharp Objects. Adapted from Gone Girl fame Gillian Flynn's debut novel, this exploration of grief, need, addiction and illusion in a small town hinges in Camille, played by Adams. She's returning to her hometown investigating a story about murder of two girls. Directed by Jean-Marc Mallet, the guy who directed Big Little Lies' first season. In the process, many skeletons come forth from Camille's past and her mother, Adora. The name itself has a haughty air about her. A trigger warning though, the series has mentions and visuals of self-harm and extreme grief and psychopathy. The whole series has a southern gothic vibe to it with this air of mystery going around and with the characters sh- showcasing much more than they are revealing. Especially how it is shot, the very environmental frames and the house with the iconic green wallpaper cracking and peeling is a character on its own. At the heart of it is Amy Adams giving a performance of a lifetime. Well, she rarely hits a false note anyway, but this one is a masterclass in acting. Her coping with the resurfacing grief or initially running away from it, addicted to it, she displays it all so ingrained within her that you forget that you're watching Amy Adams. Matching her step for step is Patricia Clarkson. As the southern mother with an air of mystery and hauntingly toxic care and a standing within the community, this is an act that actually won her a Golden Globe Award. The creepy youngest daughter, Emma, played by Eliza Scannell, is bitch perfect. And Chris Pessina, embroiled amongst these three women, definitely holds on his own. A study of psychological concepts of need, grief, control. Also, stay back for post credit scenes where the whole mystery unravels and it's actually resolved and the truth comes out. In that last scene and the post scenes, you don't see it coming. You can watch Sharp Objects on YouTube, Foxtel, Pinch and Amazon Prime. My next recommendation is another one with a woman at the center of the story and is also looking for the truth. However, it is tonally very different from Camille. It's called Mrs. Wilson. A three-part series that explores the ramifications of double life after one's death. Ruth Wilson, who is also the producer on the show, plays her own grandmother, Alison. No pressure, Ruth. She discovers that her husband was also married to three other women. The series deals with the ideas of shame, social pressures and effects of one person's action onto another, the social stigmas and how well do you even know the person, especially the double of previous lives. In the process of understanding her husband better, she goes through motions of interacting with his other relationships, finding out that he was hardly the man she had come to know. Ruth Wilson nails the role, going through a gamut of emotions, from naivety to maturity, romance to betrayal, she nails every one of them. With an added pressure of portraying a family member and not offending any of the offsprings from another wives, it's a tightrope and Wilson walks expertly as a producer and as an actor. Examining her own prejudices and not finally judging the other wives, Her sense of self being betrayed by the deceased husband is shaken to the core. An exploration of truth within just three episodes, this miniseries runs a whole arc where you follow the back and forth in timelines of the characters forming their story and how you may hardly know the person you think you fully know and then the acceptance of the truth when it finally comes out. You can watch Mrs. Wilson on ABC iView Stan, and Amazon Prime. And that's it for today. Subscribe to this show on Podbean and YouTube. Leave us a review on iTunes. Also, keep sending in those recommendations and feedback 
at bingeboxpodcast at gmail.com. Also, follow us on Instagram at bingeboxpodcast. See you next week. Ciao.